All right, guys. So let's move on to the uh, rest of the body topology. The arm. Uh, the arm is exactly like the, you know, the uh, the leg. So I'm gonna just extrude out something like this, and then I'm gonna grab that, and this time I'm gonna use component so that I can. Oh, doesn't really do that. <laughs> Maybe just drag that one in, and then do. Maybe I can do this, right? And I can scale them to make them flat. Uh, I, I did that by holding down D and click on one of the edges. So that way I can have that uh, perfect orientation. Okay, and then I can go uh, quad draw two again. And then I can holding down control to add the edge loop in the middle. So for the arm, it's almost the same kind of series here. So you can end up with something just like this, simple, just loops. Or you can end up with more structure in the middle of the uh, arm. Again, that's going to make the weighting harder. It's going to give you a better shape. So let me do that. The idea here is that we have the best up here, and its shape is not gonna actually go all the way, so it stops here, and I need a loop for that. Uh, oops, uh, because my computer is getting slower because the model is too dense. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, uh, grab this piece of the geometry, and then there is the uh, extract faces so that I'm separating again the arm from the body so I can focus on the arm. Come on, let's sit together. So that way when I'm doing retopologizing, uh, it wouldn't get really slow because I'm doing a simpler model now. <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing here is find out the loop that's wrapping around the deltoid, uh, sorry, the bicep. And I can probably do the same thing here on the top too. So instead of that, I'm gonna make it go uh, like uh, like this. So maybe I can have one more loop here duplicated. Oh, it's actually all I have up there. Ah, so let me try this code draw two with that selected so I can at least see it. And let me do this then. So what I mean is I want to have a loop that's wrapping around the Pass up like this, okay. So that I do have a capsule kind of like shape here that is representing it more or less. And then for the back side, uh, let me delete that. And let's think about what's happening here. I think it's easy, I just need to connect. Need uh, two more lines on the back, which I wouldn't really think that's bad because I kind of want more loop on my arm anyway. So and that's good. So that way I have uh, a capsule kind of shape to represent uh, the deltoid. Now it's really dangerous to retopologize it without seeing the shape, though, because without the shape, you're just being bland and doing whatever you think uh, that could be there. Uh, which is not a good thing to do. So always make sure that you are doing the loops around the shape you are doing. Otherwise, it's it's ridiculous that you you're doing it. It's not gonna turn out to be really good or 
then there's no reason why you create that loop if it's not on the shape you're doing okay so that's the best set it should be going all the way inwards <laughs> anatomy wise but again anatomy is the last thing you think about when you're doing the topologizing uh, you think about the shape you think about the deformation need and eventually you think okay if I can make it also follows the anatomy then that would be cool right but uh, if you really think about anatomy it's really complicated uh, this one not starts here it goes all the way in beneath uh, the deltoid and that's gonna be a disaster if you really try to make the topology go that way it's gonna be making the weighting really hard to do and so on so I wouldn't recommend to really do that all right okay so for here on the back, we have the elbow. So let me do the same thing I did on the knee, just uh, a loop wrapping around it. And I have uh, geometries like that. OK. Alright, so here I'm not going to do something, anything really fancy. Uh, there are two big parts in the low, uh, forearm, at uh, this part and the other side. So I'm going to at least have some loop to represent that, more or less, but not on an extremely detailed level because that's going to make the twisting and weighting really hard to do. to be ending here actually you want to be able to find the loop so the reason I want I make this one connect to there is because it's from there I want it to be a consist consistent loop instead of going spiral so that's why I'm finding out there first and then maybe I can figure out what's going on over here so maybe it can be more like this I want more loops so I can force it to create more loops by keep making it wrapping around the body so I end up with two more loops here and I can maybe have one more here and maybe one more so that uh, it will give me a lot of loops uh, on this area uh, a lot of loops going downwards uh, because I will have a lot of loops from the hand so maybe it's a good thing right don't really worry about that part of course that's still the the geometry that's that's still representing the shape I'm doing there so I'm really happy with that just need just need to uh, find out where the loops are again the bending here I need maybe more support so let me add one more loop here around the elbow just to give me more loop to bend this area Okay, so now if you look at it, 
I'm ending with more loop here. It's like how many? 30. And that's only uh, 22, so that's only 11. So I'll end with two more loops actually at the bottom from the top. And through the process, we also defined uh, different parts of the body. So that's one. And here we have another one, but it doesn't really rotate around. So maybe I can fix that. That's a quadro too. So I want this part to actually rotate back, and it, but it rotates back here instead of there. So it needs to be like this actually. And that's also maybe a good sign too, because that's gonna give me a need of one more loop going downwards. So it's a good thing. Oh, Let's see, uh, so this one going in, and that loop uh, should be connected here. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, well, that's that one. This is one loop, this is another one. So this should be okay, and that. Okay, so here maybe uh, this loop. Goes towards that direction, goes all the way here. Uh, maybe that's gonna be where this one ends so that uh, we don't need this loop or that. Just trying to fine tune what's happening here. So I don't end up with one more loop actually because you know it has to be like that because you uh, you have one loop going in a different way and there must be another one on the other side that's doing the same thing so you end up with the same amount of loops so yeah do it here but the good thing about it is that I can have more loop if I wanted to because I have established uh, this part of the body so if I want more loop I can add one and that's gonna give me two more loops connecting to the bottom of the arm and basically again that's a good thing uh, if I want to have uh, the same amount of loop going from the arm to the hand, and because the hand will have a lot of fingers, and the finger will require a lot of loops to represent, and you will end a lot of loops on the palm of the hand anyways, so having more loop here on the arm wouldn't be a bad thing. Again, this part will give you better shape. It's harder to do the, topo do the weighting. Uh, but I'm gonna do that anyways because I I think I can handle a little waiting difficulties. If I can end with better shapes, I will do that anyways. So now if you look at here, we have because you have these loops, uh, those two loops here, uh, you already have that shape being here with lesser topology. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. And uh, yeah, let me just keep on maybe refining the positioning of those vertices. And those, those can be even out later on down the way. Okay. So let me then go shoot that out. Oh doesn't have that part in. Let me just uh, bridge that. Then go to quadro. Add that edge loop. And then merge it there. Okay. And then I can hold it down D and snap it there so I can make it flat and rotate it. And then I can have 
a bunch of loops in the middle so I can even those out. Do one more loop over there. So this is the arm. Again, I'm going for a... So the whole process shouldn't take that long. I'm just trying to explain a lot of things down the way. And uh, again, I'm doing it in a harder way for both modeling and weeding, but it's probably going to give you better results, especially for game model. But this is going to give you a better contour because of the loops we created. Okay. Alright, so this is the arm, and the next tutorial we're going to go for uh, the hand. So let me actually combine those together so I can merge those vertices. Alright, so in the next tutorial, we're going to go for the hand, which is probably the hardest topology across the entire body. So we'll maybe spend more time on that part. So see you next time.